In this video, we are going to take a look at the adaptive wide angle filter. And basically this filter is used to help you fix distortions in your camera. So if you're using different types of cameras and different types of lenses, you're gonna have certain distortions and this will help compensate for that. So we open up this photograph, buildings.psd, and we go to the top to filter and then adaptive wide angle and click on that and it's going to bring up a new window and here we have an automatic correction that is trying to straighten out this image automatically for us. So you see we have some tools on the left hand side uh, such as a polygonal constraint tool for changing your constraints around, um, the constraint tool for making and editing constraints, and then the move, hand, and zoom tools. You see some camera information in the bottom left-hand corner. So we actually know what type of camera this was taken with and some information about that camera. And because of that, it allows us to have an automatic correction and we can change the scaling of that correction. As you can see, it's chopping off some of the border. But as I change the scale, we can get rid of that border and kind of do this all in one go. So we'll go ahead and change that back to 100%. And then then at the bottom you can see we have preview on and off show constraints and show mesh so we can see the mesh and the way that, that it's actually warping uh, we'll sh I'll show you the constraints here in a minute and we can turn the preview on and off so this is what it looks like originally and with this filter applied you can see especially this center uh, line here you can see how it straightens it out so when we turn preview off it's real curved, turn it on, and it gets straight. And that's what this tool is doing. So now to create any constraints, we just tell where we want uh, in this image there to be straight lines, and Photoshop will try to straighten those out for us. So if we click here, and we go down to here, and we say this should be a straight line here, it's going to try to adjust that. So you're just going to come in here and tell Photoshop where there should be straight lines. So on this building, we can um, check these lines going across. These aren't too bent out of shape, so it's already correcting a lot of those. You can see the one in the corner over here is pretty bent and warped, and if we click on that, it straightens it up a little bit for us. We can tell the floor to get a little more straight if we need to. So we'll do it with this building too. And it's going to try to even up those points for us. So now it kind of straightened up that top. And we can go in and really spend a lot of time making adjustments. I'm not going to spend too much time because you'd have to really play around with each individual image and see if you can get those fixed. But uh, you do have the ability to come in and do that. And then again, if we want to not see that border, we might have to zoom in. But here is the original and then here is with these filter corrections and we could definitely make this look a lot better. So we have fisheye, perspective, auto, and full spherical based on the type of corrections we need to make, whether we are making a fisheye correction from a fisheye type lens, or there's a perspective problem going on we need to correct, or full spherical, but typically auto does a really good job, and using the constraints, you can really straighten up this image. And then if you want to see the way it's warping the image, again, you can click on show mesh, and then that might help you uh, change the image around and fix that. So I've played with this a little bit. Uh, it's not a tool I've used extensively, so you can probably find some better documentation on Adobe's website, but whenever you're ready to save your edits, just click OK and it will save those out for you. So here you can see the new version, here's the original, so you can see all the warping that's going on and how it's tried to straighten out, say, these windows and these columns. And again, you could spend more time adding more constraints and making it perfect, but that's basically how that tool works.